Kevin Hart insists he's never written a joke. Which is odd, because he's this year's recipient of the Mark Twain Prize for American Humor. Hart is one the most famous comedians alive, but comedy is a mere sliver of his portfolio. He's a restaurateur, a rapper, an actor, a businessman, a brand wholly unto himself. He has built an empire from fast casual restaurants, a tequila brand, a protein shake line, a production company, more than $4 billion at the box office and sold out arena shows, ostensibly by telling jokes. Other comics crave comedic legacies. He craves generational wealth, he hopes to be a billionaire by the time he turns 45. That's in July. For me, it's about becoming a mogul, owning my own projects and establishing myself as a funding producer, Hart told Collider in 2013. For me, it's about history, he said on an episode of, Hot Ones, in 2016. It's about making sure that last name Hart means something when it's all said and done. For me, it's building an empire, he said to Mark Maron in 2017. I hear so many comics say, Kevin Hart's not funny, Donald Rawlings said in February on the, My Expert Opinion, podcast, though he didn't say if he agreed with them. I still don't think yo ass funny, Mike Epps wrote on Instagram in 2018, addressing Hart. In January, on Shannon Sharp's YouTube show, Cat Williams suggested that Hart is a humorless, meritless commodity, what he called an industry, plant. Williams's comments went viral, Hart pushed back, telling Fox 5 DC that Williams takes entertainment too seriously. At the circus, Hart said, when a lion comes out and rides a bike, you don't think about it too hard. You just go, okay, that's crazy. Hart has built something massive. But does the last name Hart mean something in comedy? Does he consider his comedy to be impactful? Or is he a lion riding a bicycle? We would like to ask Hart himself about all this. We spent months trying to schedule him. The Kennedy Center which will host and confer the prize March 24th, tried helping. Maybe the interview would be in Qatar, where he had a show. Or maybe on a film set in Atlanta? Then maybe just over Zoom? But Kevin Hart had other things to do. So we bought a $135 ticket for a bad seat in a North Charleston, SC, concert hall, to see his, brand new material, tour, and listen for answers. It's clear what he means when he says he doesn't write jokes. Instead, he shouts his way through meandering stories. They usually end with a laugh line that he'll repeat several times, each one louder, while he pantomimes, say, his explosive defecation after eating a spicy Chick-fil-A sandwich, or his family's eye-rolling when his nephew came out as gay. I think I speak for the whole family when I say, we know, he says. We know, we know. The audience devours it, laughing louder with each repetition.